Hello fans, I'm back. Um, Andrew here, got another review for you today. This one's a super special one. Um, one that's uh, super cool. I see I got a light behind me there um, that um, is going to bother me if I don't turn the other way. Um, so, today, review, we're going to do um, assault. Assault on snow, okay? How, how to assault snow. Man, in Minnesota here, we got ice, we got snow, we got a blizzard coming. Um, so, you know, everybody's going to be hunkering down, but those sidewalks are still going to get slippery. So today, I'm going to do a little review on a snow. Literally, a salt. That's actually softener salt. Um, so that, that we don't want to use um, because that's going to uh, ruin your cement. Um, so actually, we'll want to use this today. Um, this is actually uh, uh, like a pet friendly, environmentally friendly um, ice melt. Uh, works super good out there. So just remember, you got to go out there and assault that snow, yo. So get out there, assault the snow. Actually, today I'm just kidding about that. Um, I'm going to actually do a review. Um, got brought up by uh, one of, one of the, the kids I graduated with. Um, he goes by the name of uh, Joey Bones these days. Um, he actually uh, has a couple uh, uh, hip-hop rap albums out. Um, if you go check them out, check them out on YouTube. Just type in Joey Bones. Um, a couple of songs um, that you can even search for. Uh, one of my favorites personally is Fingertips of God. Great song, great beat. Um, got some really good lyrics to it. Um, and then also Change. Um, so go check out those two songs uh, for my boy Joe. Uh, Joey Bones, man. Uh, he, he actually uh, brought me um, this next review. Um, so he brought that over today. And so I want to just do a shout out to him. Uh, go check out his, his albums. Um, go subscribe to some of his stuff. Um, that way when he gets some new stuff that comes out, I'm sure he'll be glad to get a couple hits out there. Um, so actually today, um, the couple reviews I'm going to do, um, Dr. Pepper with cream soda, um, a product I haven't tried. I do know I've seen some commercials for it, but have not tried it yet as well as Mountain Dew frostbite. He's got a pretty cool shark there. Mountain Dew Shark, dot, 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 Mountain Dew Shark. So yeah, we're gonna check these two out. Uh, actually, today I've got two glasses of ice because um, ice is actually uh, gonna try to make these uh, a little more refreshing. They are already cold. Um, they were in my fridge. Um, also, I got some crackers because crackers is gonna take the taste of the what first, uh, first pop out and then uh, that way I can give you a complete, a complete review on uh, the product versus sometimes I just take one drink over the other and it doesn't really give you it because sometimes you have that aftertaste of the first one that affects the next one. So we're going to do this the correct way and uh, that way I'm giving you guys 100% of what I believe, um, how good they are, whether or not you should try it or not. Um, so we're going to go ahead and give these a shot and uh, we'll let you know. Uh, first, first one here is going to be that Dr. Pepper with cream soda right here. Um, it's got a, got a kind of cool can, got a, you know, uh, I don't know, um, for you, you health, health people out there that, that, uh, want to, want to know how much is in there. We got 150 calories per can, uh, a lot of sugar like usual. Um, so, uh, 41 milligrams of caffeine, um, in the Dr. Pepper, uh, with cream soda. Uh, go ahead and crack this open and we'll, uh, pour it in, in our glass here. So, got a lot of foam there. We'll let that settle. Um, looks, I mean, if you look at it, it looks just like regular uh, Dr. Pepper. Um, so, that's, that's a good sign if it looks like Dr. Pepper and it is Dr. Pepper. All right, this next one here is this uh, Mountain Dew uh, Frostbite, Mountain Dew Shark, da, 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 da. Um, and then we got, this one has 170 calories per can, a lot of sugar like most soda pops. Um, let's see here, caffeine content right there, 55 milligrams. So this one's got, you know, just your regular Mountain Dew caffeine in it. Uh, this one's actually got a really cool color to it. If you see, it's like a, a turquoise color, kind of like a, um, an ocean. So that's kind of cool that they got the shark as the... Uh, you know the the picture there of the shark coming out of the ice probably pretty great for minnesota especially on a day like today that, that actually if you take a look outside it's actually snowing out here um so we we got some snow coming down out there 
which uh, so this frostbite probably uh, goes real well with that. Uh, as you can tell, that really cool blue, um, blue blue color uh, kind of reminds me of uh, the blue drink that uh, Perkins used to have. You used to be able to go in there and order uh, blue drink. I know some of my buddies know what I'm talking about. We used to just go there just for the blue drink. Uh, so, and I think all that was was uh, uh, blue raspberry grenadine with uh, um, Sierra Mist or Seven Up. So. That's all that was actually Mountain Dew and it came out of the can. So like I said, that first one we're going to give a shot is that Dr. Pepper cream soda. So here it is. Cheers to all you for the new year that's coming up. Let's have a good year. You know what? That is delicious. It's honestly way smoother than regular Dr. Pepper. And then you get that taste of like a vanilla cream. Super good. Um, man, I... You know, that, that one's super good. I would definitely recommend that one. Uh, the, the Dr. Pepper with cream soda. Tastes just like you would... Just like it says on the can. You get your Dr. Pepper taste. And then right after that, you get some cream soda taste. So if you are a fan of cream soda, um, definitely give that a shot. Um, so I'm going to eat a cracker here just to get the taste of the Dr. Pepper cream soda out of my mouth. For you guys that haven't really seen my man cave here, I got some, some, uh, cheerleaders up there. Uh, my mom actually got me that as a, uh, uh, I think it was either a Christmas present or a birthday present, uh, from someone who dated a cheerleader. So a super cool story there. Ended up actually getting a personalized uh, picture from them. Um, this is way back in like 2001, so a while ago. Uh, but as you can tell, my name's right there. So that one was actually personalized to me. So I still got it up in my man cave. So when I watch the games, you know, I can uh, look up at the cheerleaders there. So these are just regular club crackers. Um, pretty good with chips and cheese. If you, or not chips and cheese, sorry. Uh, crackers, meat, cheese, good for holidays and stuff. Just regular club crackers. So that's just enough to take the flavor out of my mouth. Um, while I'm trying to let that get out of my mouth, just thought I'd let you guys around my garage, which is starting to look more and more like a uh, a man's garage, um, where it's a little messy. I got a project here. Um, this camper just needs a little bit of... Uh, uh, silicone around some of the spots so it can not leak um, we just uh, ended up uh, purchasing that and now we're just trying to use it as a project so it's ready to go this summer so I have that all open in here just to work on that but yeah it's like you could tell my garage is looking more and more like a man's garage where it's a mess I you know I try to keep my garage clean but it's hard in the winter because everything gets stored in here and so can't wait for warmer weather all right guys here we go let's go ahead with this frostbite here um again just like a blue dye and a sierra mist or something it's a really good uh good color i kind of like it smells pretty good yep it smells good um take a drink here hmm it's not bad okay i'm not saying it's bad um i taste a little bit of a blue raspberry in it uh, but it could just be the color so my mind might be just saying that reminds me a lot of the voltage uh the mountain dew voltage if you haven't had that yet um tastes a lot like it um it's good i mean I'm not not saying it's bad at all um, again, it's got that initial taste once you taste it and then afterwards it's kind of a smooth carbonated beverage. Um, I mean, I, I would drink that um, in a heartbeat. As you can tell, I actually kind of chugged that one a little more. A good, crisp, refreshing taste. Um, I'm trying to pick what the flavor is on it. Um, I'm having a hard time telling what the flavor is on that.
you know, honestly, I don't know if that has a flavor, okay? I'm gonna be honest with you. I don't know if that has a flavor, but it's good, okay? So, honestly, today, two times, I would drink both of these. Um, I would drink the Do Dr. Pepper with cream soda, and I would drink um, the Mountain Dew Frostbite. Yeah, I mean, very refreshing. Um, now, just as an adult, um, no, um, I would honestly think this would probably taste kind of good with, uh, you know, something, maybe a vodka, which I will uh, treat you guys today because I think I still have some uh, from over the weekend here. Some uh, Kharkov vodka, your typical vodka. Got this down at uh, MGM on, uh, on New Year's Eve, I believe it was. So I'm gonna add a little bit this to that Mountain Dew Frostbite and just let you know what I think of that. I feel like it would be a really, really good drink. So that's why I'm doing it. Just wanna see you guys so you can see that I'm pouring it in. You know, just give yourself a little shot or two or 10 or whatever you feel, however you're feeling tonight. Go ahead and uh, add, a, add a little bit more with this here and now, we have ourselves an adult beverage. Mountain Dew. Mountain Dew Frostbite with a little bit of vodka. I may have added too much vodka on that. Let me grab another can of the Frostbite. Sometimes I burn my drinks a little bit. I'm not the, not the world's greatest bartender. Um, but as I always say, uh, it's your personal choice. You want a little extra in there, you go ahead and add a little extra. But, let's go ahead and add a little bit more of this frostbite, just because I want to re really get a good taste. I don't really want a burnt taste on that. So here we go, I added a little bit more frostbite. Oh yeah, that is good. Um, so honestly, I would try that with a little bit of vodka. Be a great uh, adult beverage to enjoy at night. Um, so keep that in mind with that one. Um, goes down super smooth. I actually can't even taste the vodka anymore in it. And there's at least a shot in there. At least, like I said. Uh, so all right, guys. That's going to be my review for today. Um, just remember, stay safe out there, guys. Um, here for you. God bless and peace out.